so um, there was a movie that came out in was it just before 2000 just after 2000 something like that I haven't looked it up I can't remember it was called Big Money Hustlers and this was the first ICP movie people talk about Big Money Rustlers but they don't talk about Big Money Hustlers Big Money Hustlers contained uh, Mick Foley the immortal as Cactus Sack. This was part of the deal was that he would appear in their movie and they would cease bootlegging his wrestling matches for Stranglemania. Unfortunately, what this means is there will never be a DVD version of either one or two of Stranglemania, which is really, really crappy. So anyways, um, which actually, I met the guy uh, Foley at a, a speaking event that he did in my town and I asked him, I said, so no Big Money Hustles on DVD? And he goes, I never saw a set of any of that. And it's like, okay, dude, but you saw the sense of my buying a $50 fucking ticket or whatever to go to this, this thing in Mecha, and um, the uh, Stranglemania was the only reason I even knew who the fuck Mick Foley was. So anyways, um, what I'm really here to talk about, that I had to bring that up as context, is a character on Big Money Hustlers named Hazad. Now, Hazad is a cheesy purveyor of all things, but he overprices and he oversells, and half the time what he's selling you is crap. Um, the uh, actor that portrayed this character in the movie was Alex Abbas. He was the, uh, I believe he's like their producer or their manager for the Insane Clown Posse. He was pretty funny in it. Um, but anyway, so he puts on this uh, uh, fake Arabic accent, Excuse me. Which, I mean, his last name is Abbas. He actually is of that descent. You can tell in the movie. Um, so apparently that's okay. He can do that. So anyways, he does this, this uh, accent, and the whole thing is like, what they said in the commentary on the movie was that, because yes, I own it on DVD and I watched the commentary, um, what they what they talked about on the commentary was the fact that this was based on an actual guy, and he said that they had ground effects for a motorcycle, and they would break. And they would go to Hazad, and they would say, dude, can you fix the ground effects? And he'd say, yes, I will fix the ground effects on your vehicle. And in one month, they will break, and you will come back again. Like, this is how he talked. This is what they said. So they turned this into a character in the movie, right? Only if you watch the movie, every time Hazad does a sales pitch, so this is how you can tell somebody is trying to sell you something, he says, my friend, well, this, this is the best, this is the new juicer, this We'll get you all the orange juice you need, my friend. And for only you, for nineteen ninety five, friend. Like, that was his whole thing. Was my friend, my friend, my friend. And so all I could do throughout that H.A. Goodman, Jordan Sather debate, interview, what do you want to call it? Fiasco. Um, throughout that, all I could think about was Hazad. Every time Jordan spoke, because literally every time... H.A. asked him a question that he didn't like what he was going to have to say for an answer. He would deflect and then say, my friend. And he actually rolled his R's a few times. So I kind of think he's probably been watching that movie or something. But, yeah, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. The evidence shows. The evidence shows. My friend, my friend. So, anyways. Uh, that is based off of a character named Hazad from an Insane Clown Posse movie, just so you know. 